Did you know that the 42nd President of the United States, Bill Clinton, was born William Jefferson Blythe III? His father died before he was born, and it wasn't until his mother remarried that he took the surname of his stepfather, Roger Clinton. Born on August 19, 1946 in Arkansas, Bill Clinton's journey to the presidency was marked by a series of impressive achievements. After graduating from Georgetown University in 1968, Clinton went on to Yale Law School. It was here that he met Hillary Rodham, a fellow law student who would later become his wife and a political force in her own right. Following his graduation from law school, Clinton returned to Arkansas and began his political career as the state attorney general. He then served two non-consecutive tenures as governor of Arkansas. During this time, he established his reputation as a new Democrat with a centrist third-way political philosophy. As governor, he implemented significant changes to the state's education system and served as chairman of the National Governors Association. In the 1992 election, Clinton defeated incumbent Republican President George H.W. Bush and independent businessman Ross Perot, making history as the first baby boomer president. His presidency ushered in the longest period of peacetime economic expansion in American history, yet wasn't without its challenges. His attempts to pass a national health care reform plan were unsuccessful, and the Republican Party won unified control of Congress in the 1994 elections. Despite these setbacks, Clinton was re-elected president in 1996, defeating Republican Bob Dole and Reform Party nominee Ross Perot. During his second term, Clinton's policies became noticeably more conservative. He advocated for and signed the Personal Responsibility and Work Opportunity Act, the state children's health insurance program, and financial deregulation measures. He appointed Ruth Bader Ginsburg and Stephen Breyer to the U.S. Supreme Court and saw the Congressional Budget Office report a budget surplus for the first time since 1969. On the international front, Clinton ordered U.S. military intervention in the Bosnian and Kosovo Wars, signing the Dayton Peace Agreement. He also expanded NATO into Eastern Europe and the Middle East and signed the Iraq Liberation Act to aid groups against Saddam Hussein. His efforts to advance the Israeli-Palestinian peace process included his participation in the Oslo One Accord and Camp David Summit. However, Clinton's second term was not without controversy. The Clinton-Lewinsky scandal, which began in 1995, dominated headlines and culminated in Clinton's impeachment by the House of Representatives in 1998. The charges centered around perjury and obstruction of justice, but he was acquitted on both charges in a Senate trial in 1999. Despite the scandal, Clinton left office in 2001 with one of the highest approval ratings of any U.S. president. Today, his presidency is regarded as one of the middle to upper tier in historical rankings of U.S. presidents. In this video, we've journeyed through the life and political career of Bill Clinton, from his birth in Arkansas to his tenure as the 42nd president of the United States. We've explored his achievements, his challenges, and the controversies that marked his time in office. From his beginnings as a new Democrat to his legacy as a president who presided over an era of economic expansion and international intervention, Clinton's impact on American politics is undeniable.